Okay, so I would actually like to hear your opinion on if it's just me that it makes it sound like out of place, or if it really does sound out of place. If it does, just leave a comment down below. I will, like always, try to comment back to as many people as possible. I've been doing better at it. I got the YouTube notification set up on my new phone. I do have my new phone. So, yeah, that's kind of it with this video. I'm just getting really, really annoyed with this whole clickbaiting scene with the entire Grand Theft Auto community. I've kind of given up on this whole Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, if you do clickbaited videos, you get a lot more views. But I don't need to do this. Just look at my sub count. Look at my views. Look at the Let's Be Jimmy Rage compilation, just for Christ's sake. It has, right now, almost 100,000 views. Now go look at some of Let's Be Jimmy's non-clickbaited videos. Those videos sometimes break 50,000, if 60,000, and he has 1 million subscribers. No, almost 2 million. My bad. Bought another million, if I'm not mistaken. And yes, I'm saying he bought, because until the day he shows us that golden play button, or the YouTube purge comes around and he does not drop below a million. I'm saying he has bought subscribers. I wish there was like a, like how they have the Twitter audit. I wish they had a YouTube audit. Because it really, really is pissing off how he commenting that, oh, he has this money, he has this, bought a new Elgato game cashier, but yet he has not even shown us the golden play button. And if I'm not mistaken, nor his silver play button. Just Twitter doesn't, not Twitter, just doesn't like him, that they just do not want to give him. If so, as much as I'm hating you, YouTube, right now, for getting rid of our subscribers and not giving us the ability to subscribe, I give you credit on this part. If you're going to support a clickbang channel, YouTube, and you're fighting against it by not giving them any rewards for it, that is actually freaking awesome. I have to give you credit. And the Let's Be Jimmy Rage compilation right now, it is total over 97,912 views. So if you go down in the little annotation down there, it's the very first one. Go check out that video. Leave a like. That video has been doing really well, and I've never, when we first created it, we actually never meant to make it sort of a hate video, but now the more and more Let's Be uploading these clickbaiting videos, you can actually look in the comment section. You'll notice how much our viewpoint on him has changed so you guys this is all i've got for this video sorry it's slightly longer but hell you guys got a sunday upload i think you also got a saturday upload which usually i don't upload on the weekends maybe i might change that you guys have to tell me down in the comments below if we should or not. but that is all i've got today hope you guys enjoyed please like comment and subscribe and like always stay real thank you My father brought me to this town. He feared that I became involved again in trouble. I was never a normal girl. I've never been the daughter my father dreamed of having. I don't blame my father. I know he tried to help me. He thought the bad company were problem. But I am a big problem. Hey, hold up. I did not notice this the first time. It straight up doesn't even say Rockstar. It says a 22 production. Just wow. Just wow. Alright, let me get back to this so you guys can. Okay, so that was the trailer. Believe it or not, it legit is the trailer that he showed on his channel and tried saying that it was the Grand Theft Auto official trailer.
Yes, I'm going to say this. He doesn't say it was released, but still the title is completely misleading. Also, I'm not one that completely made it through the entire video, so I have no clue if he admits to it being fake. The moment I watch the trailer, I'm just like, nope, fuck it, I'm done. I just want to make a few pointers on this. If you guys saw my last Let's Be Jimmy rant, you guys will notice that I call him out for buying subscribers and subs, but before that video, there was before there was one about a Grand Theft Auto mod that was going to be installed. While not being installed, you have to go download it, and you can end up throwing Liberty City in the game. And I showed you guys the trailer for that. That trailer and that backdrop of Liberty City looks creepily the same. So we have the problem of not just let's be Jimmy clickbaiting. He may have also stolen, yes, stolen a trailer for a mod that people worked so hard putting together, and now he's trying to pass it off as a trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6. My other problem with this video is the trailer has a female protagonist. Yes, that's been big in the ideas of what people want. Like, kind of, the fans kind of voice saying they would like to see a female protagonist and have not. But here is the problem with them using a female protagonist. He's just putting voice acting in. A, it was shit. B, Rockstar's never even confirmed if it was going to be a female not. The only thing they've really even confirmed about Grand Theft Auto 6 is the fact that they are making Grand Theft Auto 6 and they would like to use VR capability. That is the only bit of news that we have. And eh, this was more of a developer, an old developer saying that their plans, since they are considering VR to expect a delay from their original release date, which they never released, and expect to be back. So now people are actually. Predicting it's going to be 2020, while Red Dead Redemption is still coming out sometime this year, quarter three, so probably around fall, probably October on a Monday is going to be my guess. So guys, that information there, I'm going to play this trailer one more time for you. And I want you guys to listen to the voice acting. I'm not even going to play the whole thing, I'm going to play a small segment. Just listen to the female talking, and how just out of place she sounds. And it just, I don't know if it's going to bug you as much as it bugged me, but it bugged me a lot. So, here you go. I don't blame my father. I know he tried to help me. He thought the bad company were problem. But, I am a big problem. Okay guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me on this side of the internet again. And I got a little another video for you. And it's about our favorite clickbaiting king, Jimmy. About... Nine hours ago, well actually no, not nine hours, more like six. He uploaded a video titled, as goes, GTA 6 dash, Grand Theft Auto 6, semicolon, official, big capital letters, official, trailer, parentheses, GTA 6, close parentheses. Yeah. Yeah, that happened. And if, I'm just going to quickly make a note that. If you actually do follow Rockstar over on Twitter, you know this is all. But even better, even better than just the clickbaiting title, you need to go check out this thumbnail. I will post the thumbnail like in big pictures right here. But this, this is the fucking thumbnail. This is the thumbnail and this is the video. The title as is. Are you fucking kidding me? Really, this isn't even Grand Theft Auto. If any gamer knows that this is The Last of Us and not Grand Theft Auto, you weren't like you weren't even close. You're more like the Bills hitting the wide right kick back in the Super Bowl, completely missing it. You had your shot, you had it all lined up, you were in perfect position, and bam, you fucking missed. Why? Just I don't understand. Of all games, the only worst you could have done was probably Dr. Jackal and Mr. Hyde from the original Sega, I believe it was on. That's the only worst you could have done. You could have just thrown that right there. And probably you still would have done better. I really am not understanding. But I'm going to let you guys quickly watch the video so you guys can kind of see how bad this trailer is. And I'm going to make a few comments on it afterwards. 